With wintry weather upon us, the timing is just perfect tonight for the live Doppler 15 Fury Storm team to announce its winter outlook for the season. So let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Nicholas Ferrari to see what's in store. Thanks, Tara and Dirk. Well, we are getting some clear signs regarding our temperature pattern for the winter season, so let's start off with that. Leaving our home here in northeast Indiana and northwest Ohio, zooming out and heading south. I'm talking way south, down to South America. What research shows us is that when South America has a colder than average winter, like they did this year when we were experiencing summer, well, we get a cold winter here in the Midwest. So sign one of cold. Sign two, a weak El Nino that's expected to develop. And when we talk about El Nino, we're talking about the warming of the waters off the western coast of South America. This year, though, the warmth is focused in a little bit of a different location. It's in the central Pacific. This is what we call an El Nino Madoki pattern. When this happens and the warmth is focused here, it affects the global weather pattern in a way that we see more cold spells across our part of the country. So sign two of cold. The third signal comes from back in North America and the United States. We look at Alaska and the waters off the southern coast. These waters are warmer than average. When this happens, it often occurs right in tandem with a surge of warm air in this part of the globe. And when the warm air is this far north, it becomes so much easier for the cold air that's usually here to be funneled well down into our part of the country. So three very clear signs pointing to a cold season ahead. But when it comes to precipitation, the outlook is a little bit more uncertain. And that's because we just don't know how far south these pushes of cold will get. Where the boundary exists between the colder air and the warmer air to the south, that's where we're more likely to see the heavier precipitation events and the heavier snowstorms. For now, this is what you should prepare for. A winter season that features below average temperatures. On the precipitation front, things are likely to be around average. So that's your official Live Doppler 15 Fury Storm Team Winter Outlook.